so it's time to take up the next question here we have question number 31 on the board which says a ball is thrown vertically up from the point a a person standing at a height h on the roof atop a building tries to catch it he misses the catch the ball overshoots and simultaneously the person starts a stopwatch the ball reaches its highest point and he manages to catch it upon its return by this time a time interval t has elapsed as recorded by the stopwatch if g is the acceleration due to gravity at this place the speed with which the ball was thrown from the point a will be see here you have to have a look at this question so here you can clearly see that here is the point a from where this ball was thrown in the upward direction now we don't know what was the velocity of ball here at this point a or the velocity with which it was thrown we need to calculate it now here in the question further it givens that when the ball passes this point let mark this point as point b which is at a height h there was a person who actually misses the ball here now the time taken by the ball to go to the highest point from this point b and to come back to this point b is time t so if i just take the velocity here that is at point b to be v can i calculate this velocity yeah we can because we know the total time taken by the ball in going to its highest point from point b and coming back to point b is t so what is going to be the time taken by the ball to go to its highest point from this point b it is going to be t by 2 now i can apply here equation of motion so what i can do is i can write from the very first equation that's v is equal to u plus at at the highest point it will be zero the velocity at point b we are taking it as a v g is acting in the downward direction so i will take the negative sign here t is actually t by 2 so from this the v comes out to be gt by 2 now what i will do the next if i take the initial velocity to be u so i can apply equation of motion there too so for the motion of the ball from point a to point b i can write v square minus u square is equal to 2 as at point b what is the speed we just have calculated it it's gt by 2 so here i can write this will be gt by 2 whole square u we need to calculate what is the acceleration due to gravity it's g and it is acting in the downward direction so there will be the negative sign with it h as the ball is moving in the upward direction so it will be positive that is the displacement of the ball will be positive further i can write that this u square will be gt by 2 whole square and when this will come to this side it will become positive so it will be 2 gh so u will be written as the square root of gt by 2 whole square plus 2 gh on solving it further i will get this will be g square t square plus 8 gh divided by 2 so this is the velocity with which this ball was thrown in the upward direction so if i just have a look at the options you can clearly see here that option 3 is the correct option so i can mark this as the correct option let's write it here as well that the answer of this question is option 3 so i hope this question is also pretty clear to you now let's move on to the next question 